Premier, what about people who had money on Victoria still being in lockdown? They'll be paid out as quickly as possible. It'd be nice to go back in time and put some money on, right? I wish, by the way, I wish I could. Premier, have you spoken to Gladys Berejiklian? Uh, In a conversation with the Premier of New South Wales on Friday, they were getting down. She was getting down, as in parting hard? (laughs) Yeah. Is that a yes? Yes. I heard she was parting until Sunday. Uh, If I could call Sunday right now, I would, but I can't. Can you call a day of the week? Yes. And who answers? No one's ever questioned that. Wait, so do different days of the week have different voices? I would just say there's a lot of voices in this. Okay, so who's the voice of Sunday? Josh Frydenberg. Premier, the Melbourne Marathon is scheduled for this Sunday. Will it go ahead? No. But this flyer said the Melbourne Marathon would go ahead. Rain, hail, shine or pandemic? No, it does not. No, it does. It says it there. Or pandemic. Yeah, I, I, I would I would respectfully uh, not not agree with, with those comments. People are saying the real reason you don't want it to happen is because you've been too lazy to train and you don't want to embarrass yourself. Well, that's a decision that I've made. Let's be serious for a second, Premier. When was the last time you trained? 10, 15, 20, even longer, you know, 30 years ago. Robert DeCostello's record marathon time is two hours and seven minutes. I'm not about breaking that. And he shed his pants. That is a massive effort. If the event did take place, would you attempt maybe one of the shorter races? Certainly the 5Ks. Now, Premier, I believe to help with Victoria's budget shortfall, you're moonlighting as a TV extra. Uh, we are all you know, we are all challenged by uh, the, the impacts of this. How long have you been doing this for? Uh, for quite some time. Now, is it true you're a background extra on Neighbours? Uh, yes. Can you tell us more about being a background extra? Well, the nature of background work is uh, when I've got an announcement to make, I will. How many other extras auditioned? You know, you took hundreds and hundreds of people. What would you say to anyone wanting to become a background extra? I think your odds are very poor. Could this be a new career for you? Maybe one day become an extra in Hollywood. Uh, I think the answer to your question, two questions, is yes and yes. Jared Toadfish Rebecca said you're a good extra, but you barrel the camera too much. I don't. I don't think that's fair. To be to be honest, that's not the feedback I'm getting. And why did you say no to a TV Week interview? I don't want to be interviewed. Now, Premier, when you were younger, you worked at a pizza shop, and your role was to cut the pizza into slices. Yeah, that's right. How do you cut a family pizza into slices? You halve and halve again and halve again. What's that based on? Based on science. Yeah, but when I slice it, it's not a straight line. Can I say to you that it's always very challenging when you have to draw a line? So it's basically a line... Then another line, kind of like an X. Yeah, that's right. What do you think, Dr. Sutton? Oh, I'm not commenting on, on, on an X. Premier, what do you think about pizza cutting? It's the most important thing you can do. And what about pizza cutters in general? They're heroes. Now, Premier, I believe last night you were playing Jenga with your 18-year-old son, Noah, and it was really high, and then he pulled out a piece and it came toppling over. That is very difficult, it's very challenging, heartbreaking in some ways. When that happens, what do you do? To take the action necessary to ensure that mistakes do not occur again. Noah says you locked him in his room. This is a strategy that's worked. But he's 18 years old. As difficult as these decisions are, uh, as heartbreaking as the consequences of these decisions are, uh, this is the only way forward. And to cool off, you went to your happy place? Uh, Yes. And where's that? In a Macca's car park in the deep outer suburbs. Dr Sutton, you've been quiet. Anything else you want to add? Uh... (laughs) that coronavirus doesn't exist and doesn't kill people.